Welcome back to another video on the KK's Games channel. Today we will be playing Roblox Fishing Simulator and this will be a video about the best way to make money. As you can see, this is another video on the Gaming with Remy channel. This is episode 4. So, let's get into it. So guys, obviously not everyone's going to be above level 40 because level 40 is quite a good level. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the best money making method and this money making method for under level 40 will definitely be a good XP method as well. So you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Fortnite. Um, there's no level requirement so that's why it's a really good place if you're under level 40. Obviously you can go to places if you want to explore them like Shadow Isles. And Eruption Island because they are also under level 40. But um, yeah, so you climb up the rock, go past Elvin, talk to him. Yeah, doesn't really say much. Then you talk to Buck. Hi there, Benny Back One, welcome to Fortnite, your castle shaped home away from home. Feel free to get comfortable. And then he just really talks about not entering a dungeon, but this, guys, is exactly where you're gonna want to go. And then obviously I have very high rarities. Not everyone can have this kind of rarities. But you are just gonna wanna gonna wanna fish here for a bit. There are some pretty good fish, so uh yeah, this is quite good. Let's have a look in the fish index. So Fortnite, the cuttlefish, the Cooper snapper, the long ear sunfish, the yellow snapper, and the red tang. Um, I believe that the yellow snapper cannot be found here, and it can only be found in the ocean outside, but obviously I may be wrong. So this, I think, is the mythic cuttlefish, if I'm right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so yeah, if you are on the level 40, this will definitely be your go-to place. If you do want to level up fast and get that money along the way for important things like rod upgrades, boats, things like that that'll help your fishing career go along. As you can see, I'm getting okay fish. I know not everyone's going to be like this, so as I said before here, yeah, you're just going to want to upgrade. But obviously, when I first started playing, Playing, I saw others that were insane, and I just kept playing them. I became the player that I used to see as a person who was just so good at the game. So yeah, if you are um just under level forty, and you wanna. Fish here, maybe get some more coins. Um, you can start fishing here, and also with your money, I would recommend getting a backpack with at least 80 backpack space. So yeah, I would say the the 80 backpack backpack space fish one is quite a good one. I used to have that for quite a while, and if you are under level 40, I don't recommend wasting your money on chests. Just for, for a good rod. Once you get like a rare rod or an epic rod, probably an epic rod, I recommend stopping there and actually using that rod. And once you know maybe, you know, maybe level 50 plus, then and if you have like over a million coins and you don't find it too hard to grind out coins, you could just spend quite a bit of money on those chests just so you can get that mythic rod it does quite help and then you've got pets most people <coughs> aren't aware of that pets that actually give you additional rarity chance <coughs> so most pet most pets only give you stuff like see the average pet only gives you stuff like an epic hook speed bait size strength but then if you get a mythic you get hook speed bait size rarity chance and 
mutations. Obviously, this is the best equal pet in the game. I really like it. I, this is the exact one I wanted. I wouldn't mind like a monkey or something, but I really wanted the bird because I just wanted it to be flapping around. Now, soon I'm just going to get into my other favorite place, which I do recommend. So, the other place I really do recommend, if you're a low level, it's not a bad idea to grind out. Uh, let me just show you. It's not a, a bad idea to grind out Monsters Burrow. It's really nice. Gives you quite good fish. I won't take you there right now, but <clears throat> you're going to need a <clears throat> pretty decent boat if you do want to get there because that'll really help. <clears throat> and then, obviously, we've got Ancient Shores. You may have heard about that, but that is the number one place in fishing simula simulator to get money it is the best place it is the rarest fish obviously you do have to do the h jaws quest that's pretty fun but it's worth it because you get a reward of 500 gems and you get to open up this to allow you to uh fish here <clears throat> so the good thing about this there are only four species of fish there are, is there's a legendary Two uncommons and a mythic. So they are pretty good. See, first try, I've already got a legendary off the bat. Pretty nice. I don't want to do this in a whole lot of detail <clears throat> because level 40 plus, only level 40 plus can unlock this. And they'll probably be aware that this is the number one spot. And there's just one last place I'd like to show you which is shadow isles <clears throat> you will have to open the secret cave which isn't too hard but yeah um shadow isles is a really good spot <clears throat> the the cave gives you decent fish uh that blue fish you've got the rare shadow swordfish got all that kind of stuff just here it's quite a nice spot but there is a level 25 requirement. <clears throat> so if you're not like an XP grinder, don't really have those. Uh, two times XP game passes. It is quite nice <clears throat> if you're just hovering between that level 25 and that level 40. It is quite good to go here. See, as you can see, got mythics, got a couple rares. Haven't really got any commons yet. Of course, I just jinxed it. Uh, yeah, see, as you can see here, there aren't, <clears throat> it's pretty nice fish, just got another mythic bluefish. Uh, and you probably noticed that, yeah, I do have my rarity upgraded to max. That's why there's like times two. Um, yeah, so, these are all very good spots. I mean, there are only how many islands? <clears throat> there are about, how many islands are there with no there are, <clears throat> um, yeah, so there are four islands that you can go to without a level requirement. Actually, no, sorry, three. Four including the whole entire Monsters Bar. But three, you can go to Watchers Bay, Port Jacks, and Fortnite. <clears throat> Watchers Bay isn't the best money or XP making method, but I would recommend going there just if you're really looking into making your aquarium quite nice because there's a new if you have to go under the waterfall i will be cov covering that in a video soon um there will be uh there is a new uh new fish it's called a sea bear it's kind of cool because it's like got a permanent scowl and it just frowns the whole time it's pretty funny uh yeah so it's quite nice it's mythic and yeah Okay, so now I will cover Pharaoh's Dunes, just because if you are level 65 and up, obviously you can do the quest, which I do recommend. And then obviously when you complete the quest, you do get 
the rare star rod which does allow you to fish in here generally you can but it's the same but it allows you to catch starfish you get there's a bigger chance of you getting them at night um it actually is a good money making method not <clears throat> extremely good considering that you have to be level 65 plus but um because once you're over level 65 you can just go for the here's the starfish here once you're over level 65 you can just go to the eight for the ancient jaws oh, oh i don't know why it doesn't say the thing but it just said new species discovered hopefully it's a neon fish guys let's check did we get a neon fish oh what do we get do we get a baby hmm? why isn't this loading I'm kind of confused. Oh, I got a huge starfish. That's not very nice. So obviously, this one's quite good as well. In sense, this is actually has the same average fish as ancient shells because this is a common, rare, legendary, mythic, and the ancient shells has two uncommons. Legendary and mythic, but <clears throat> to me, you get more of those legendaries and mythics at Ancient Jaws, which is why I do that a lot more. And it's also because you don't get any additional rarities from your rod because you have to use this rod if you do want to be getting those starfish. If you're not, if you don't want to, then of course go ahead and just not just not use the star rod. But then again, you're missing out on the chance to get those better fish. Um, now, so I guess I might as well just cover Watcher's Bay for you guys. This is the last island that doesn't have a level of climbing. Because you, there's nothing special about Port Jackson. It's not really insane fish. But so, when you get off Popperton, you should see three little tents on the left. You kind of go along there. You can walk in the water and you can fish along the way. Because you can actually stand in the water. It's not deep enough for you to swim. So you can keep fishing, which is kind of cool. Um, <coughs> so you want to walk along here. You should see a log here. And then, I don't know why it's not showing me my stuff. Um, kind of climb along here and you kind of just jump in here. And right here is where we get sea bears. So I'm just gonna cast my rod and take my view under the water. Straight off the bat, first time, guys. This is a mythic sea bear. It looks kind of cool. Um, I really don't know why it's not showing. It's really weird. Uh, so this is what the sea bear looks like see it's just got like a frowny face kind of cool it's kind of funny how it's just uh yeah so they're quite nice in your aquarium because they just swarm around kind of stand out different to all the other fish and guys neon sea bears just look insane i do have two in my aquarium and they just look amazing. I'm really happy that I have a huge one. I'll show you what it looks like just here. Um, where is it? Just... As you can see, I do have a red one and I do have a blue one, both in my aquarium. So glad I haven't sold them. Now guys, I will cover another video about neon fish later, but I do want to point out, always go to caster. And you can, and you should always check through your inventory before you sell, because you never know if you have something like a neon, an albino, even if it's just like a huge mythic, it's still you could still maybe keep in your cream, or if it's a baby that looks kind of cute, all these things you can keep.
Now guys, now the last thing I want to do is just <coughs> show you what to do with caster to see if you want glowfish. Uh, so let me just run over to Hopperson, who will take us back to Port Jackson. Hi, Popperson. Yeah, I would like to fly to Port Jackson, please. Now, so, let me just take out one of my neon fish. I will show you my aquarium quickly. And I just do, do want you to know, guys, for the XP and coins, I do have both those game pass, passes, two times coins and two times XP. So don't feel put down if, like, you may not be as making as much as me. As you can see, I have been playing for quite a while, so, yeah. So these are like <clears throat> some money on fish, some of my others. I have had to sell a few of my neons just because I ran out of space. So I keep the ones I only have like one of, some of my neon fish. I've sold, sold a few in here, it's like my neon sunfish. That's a normal sea bear, that's a red neon sea bear, a blue neon sea bear. Quite a few sharks, neon orc, and my favorite neon I've ever got, probably my neon sun. And then we've just got all of these as well. So I want to show you what it looks like a neon fish when you take them out. So let's just go and put in a small piranha. And so you can go to caster, but since I have the cell anywhere, um, you just click so I just click so, and then I go here, and it says where is it? The bottom here, small piranha common glow. So it says legendary. It is a it isn't a common. When it says common, it's referring to the color because red's common, blue's uncommon, green is rare, pink is epic. Uh. Is that the the orange is the legendary and the yellow is the mythic? I do not have any mythic actually, and they've two like two legendaries. It's actually surprisingly hard to get them. Okay, guys, that finishes it for this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful time. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope this video really helps you. And you can go grind out these coins and those XP. Hope you all have a, a lovely day. And that's it from another video of KK game, KK's Games. Peace out.